NBC is the place to be. This is John Candy, and have I got a show for you today. For starters, I've got... Uh, 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 wow! And then there's... Would you look at that? <laughs> Not to mention... Whoa! Hoo -hoo. <laughs> well, you get the idea. It's all here next on Camp Candy. The quietness of darkness, the stories told by firelight, the long nights, the food fights, a summer made of memories at Camp Candy. The moonlight, the sunshine, the rainy days and wet. Star Cruisers every week when you buy a kid's meal. The Burger King Kids Club. Just for fun, just for you. Hey dudes, it's MMPC, the Micro Machines video channel. We've got drivers, classic chromas, and x-rays right here. If you're looking around for a new set of wheels, we got classic chromas, shiny bumpers, and grills. And x-rays, you can see the engine too. Micro Machines, more styles for you. You can check out these drivers with someone inside. Real looking dudes at the wheel for a passenger Micro Machines, drivers, x-rays, and classy Chromer's vehicle packs, each sold separately from Galoob. Back to our show. It was Monster Week at Camp Candy, and the kids were all enjoying a real scary picture. I'd managed to get an old print of my favorite monster flick, Dr. Horrible's Horrible Heads. Ziggy. There are no such things as monsters. Uh. Huh? Huh? Uh. What? Monster? What monster? 
monster. Horrible head just for you. Ha <laughs> 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 
much fun since my appendectomy. You're not scared, are you? Me? Scared? Of a little silly celluloid? No way. <laughs> That's good, because Monster Week's supposed to be for laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> yeah, it's a riot. Well, we all better get some sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. It's Iggy's birthday! Yeah, I'm gonna be a whole year older. If you will live that long. <laughs> Well, I gotta go. Uh, like John said, big day tomorrow. I'm a growing kid, and I want to keep breathing. Well, I mean growing. Iggy was acting pretty oddly. <laughs> Even for Iggy. But a good night's sleep put him back on the right track. Okay, okay, I was wrong. He didn't sleep a wink. But I didn't find that out until later. Mail call! Oops. Darn rain washed the mailing address right off. Hey, Iggy! I got a package for you. It's this one, I, I think. It must be my birthday present. But it's kind of damp, isn't it? My umbrella malfunctioned. But that won't stop the U.S. Postal Service. The mail must get thrown. <laughs> I wonder what wonderful present my folks sent. Hope it's a new safety device. <gasps> oh, my gosh! Ah, Dr. Horrible's horrible heads. Oh, my gosh. And Dr. Horrible must be trying to take over Camp Candy. Yikes! Don't touch it, Rick. It's... it's... Hey, man, don't lose your head over a little ball. Don't lose my head? What did Rick mean by that? Maybe he's trying to warn me that... Dr. Horrible is already here. that he was coming down with something. So I decided to follow him, in case he keeled over in the middle of nowhere. Or worse. Uh, what 
Once these heads are buried, Dr. Horrible won't be able to find his horrible heads. Then we'll be safe. I'd better warn the other campers. Poor Iggy. When I saw him dig that hole, I was afraid he'd come down with Berry Berry. <laughs> Small joke there. Berry Berry. B E R R Y. B U R Y. It's it. Never mind. I had to see what was in that box that he buried. How come us little kids always have to get supplies for the cabins? Whoa! I can't see! What a treat for all the little campers! Butch! I've got to use the phone! My gosh! He said ghoul! I distinctly heard him say ghoul! Well, I gotta go now! And you back on planet Earth! Ciao! What's got into Iggy? He's never seen a grown man covered with tomato before? I have to get rid of Dr. Horrible's horrible heads before everyone in the whole camp becomes a monster! Ah! Ah! I'm too late! Dr. Horrible has already got his horrible heads! The camp candy brochure talks about sunshine, fresh air, trees, swimming. We never mentioned the monster! I think he's on to us. He must know we're planning a surprise monster themed birthday party for him. We'll never get away with it now. Maybe I can get Iggy out of the way. Oh my gosh! John is Dr. Horrible! And he turned everyone else into a monster! I've got to get help from the outside world! Iggy! Uh, we didn't know you were there. <gasps> oh. It seemed like Iggy needed a checkup fast. I left him in Nurse Molly's capable hands. She gave Iggy a thorough exam. Well, Iggy, I can't find a thing wrong. Maybe you just need to lie down and relax. Relax? Here? In this chamber of horrors? Trapped in Dr. Horrible's horrible lab? <laughs> Not only is he evil, he doesn't even have the decency to dust. Barbie doll has glittering hair. Matching Barbie party goods, each sold separately. <laughs> Watch me trick Fred out of his Cocoa Pebbles. Captain Coco, what's wrong? I can't keep fighting crime unless I get something super chocolatey. 
You need my delicious cocoa pebble. Mmm, truly super chocolatey. Bonnie, my pebble. <laughs> Guess it's time to bowl. Post cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Wacky wild food. Now this is where they spotted that wild new flavor from Kool-Aid. A new rock could die away. Man, it tastes so good. Ooh, red and fruit, it just like it should. Rock, rock, rock. Mm, rock could die away. From Kool-Aid. It's rock and die delicious. Monday, it's the hip hop and a sour of the year. You can't touch this. An all-new fresh prints and a special Monday MC Hammer. Amen. You, you, you got to be tripping. NBC Monday. Despite his peculiar behavior, Iggy should be okay for his party. I hope so. I'd hate to have to cancel. Yeah, it would be a real waste of all this authentic monster movie memorabilia you got. Look, they're planning my demise even now. I have to get to a phone. But how? I've got it. I'll just act casual, like I'm one of them. Then when they least expect it, I'll dial 911. Now remember, everybody get dressed in your monster costumes and meet in the dining hall. If we'd known what was really bothering Iggy, we never would have thrown him a monster party. There are phones in the theater, the kitchen, and the craft shop. We all pitched in to get ready for Iggy's party. Botch was slicing salami. Robin was in charge of decorating. <gasps> Skeleton balloon. Ah! Oh my gosh! They're using the theater to take off everyone's head. I can't use that phone. Ah, those bones are all that's left of Robin, and that's what they'll do to me if I go in there. They won't take me without a fight, or at least some major whining and complaining. Boy, these monster outfits ought to cheer Iggy right up. I have two choices. I can stand and fight like a man, or I can run!
is getting very weird. surprise birthday party, and I guess it was. <laughs> a surprise, that is. And also a birthday party. <laughs> the monsters were my idea. Were you surprised? I don't think surprised is the word for it. <laughs> I made a mistake this morning. Gave you the wrong box. Hope it didn't cause any trouble. Uh, trouble? Oh, no. No trouble. Well, I'm out of here. Nice outfits, by the way. Good old mom. Just what I asked for. Uh, that looks like something out of Creature Features. Yeah. What is it anyway? I wear this during hay fever season. It filters out all the pollen and germs and stuff. And you call these scary? Listen, as long as we're doing the scary thing, let's tell a few ghost stories. What do you say, Iggy? Iggy? Iggy! This is gonna be a long day. Iggy, come back! Don't be spiteful! We'll play charades instead! Leave, Iggy! Oh! Mm. with her own leash, brush, and ribbon. Batteries not included. Now when you buy Capri Sun 100% natural fruit drinks, you can save $5 on classic videos of your favorite Hanna-Barbera characters. Classic videos of me? They're worth a million bucks. Hmm, sounds good. That one looks like a real dog. Plus, you'll have a chance to win thousands of great prizes. I think it's a blast. Look for details on the back of Capri Sun boxes. They are better than the average videos. And get your classic videos from Capri Sun. Hey, kids, if you love Nintendo, you love NBC's newest cartoon. He's masterful and magical, and you'll find him in the world of Nintendo Land. He's Captain N, the Game Master, with all your favorite original video characters. So get set to play with this fun-filled cartoon, next, only on NBC. Hey, Not so fast. You think this mess is going to clean itself? What mess? Whoa! Later. Oreo, unlock the magic. The Rise and Fall of the Kings of Sin on Hard Copy. Welcome to Video Land. Mega High! Wake up, Kid Icarus. 
vão com o cachorrinho. It's Congo Land. Mas a mãe, o que é que eu Captain N, the Game Master. Captain N, Super Mario Brothers World will be right back. Mighty small meal, partner. Get along, doggy. Rustle up, man. No. Kid cuisine, mega meals. Yummy, yummy, yum. More chicken nuggets, bigger burgers, a pair of pizzas, desserts, and my fun pack. Lots of food. And no. And the meals. Kid cuisine is just for kids. Hello. Good food. That's good fun. Now more of it. I can make my baby. Magic bottle baby toddler and newborn. When you press the buttons, you can choose whether they'll laugh, cry, drink, even burp. We give them their dinner, it's true. But we love them the best when they're through. You me! <laughs> Magic bottle baby toddler and newborn. Each sold separately. Batteries not included. New from Tyco. Get ready, here comes Captain N and Super Mario Brothers World. Within her lair on the sinister world of Metroid, Mother Brain scans her trillion brain cells in search of a clue to Captain N's weakness. Did you see that? It's Captain N! Just before he was sucked to the ultimate warp zone into video land! Rats! Way to go, Captain Klutz! I just can't figure my way around this swampy bayou! I found Captain Ed's weak spot! Uh, you mean he's afraid of rats? No, you rat brain! Bayou land! He doesn't know his way around Bayou land! I'm not only the most beautiful brain in the world, I'm the cleverest! Uh, how about a radio-controlled sweet potato? I'll need a remote-controlled robot. Yeah. That's very thoughtful of you. But do you know what I'd really like, Eggplant Wizard? Uh, what's that, Mother Brain? Now stop thinking and get me a Robocat! It's tuned to your brain waves, Mother Brain. Just think of her thought and the Robocat will respond. Mm, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like Dr. Wiley's robot doesn't work. On the contrary, it works perfectly. Okay, little Robocat, go into the warp zone and do your stuff. At the other end of Video Land, at the Palace of Power, Mother Brain's sinister plot begins to unfold. I'm not sure I can do it, Kevin. Oh, of course you can, Princess. Dancing is easy. Here, I'll show you. Ooh, I like this. I've got some pretty cool power moves, too. <laughs> Say, why don't we go back to my world? My friends would hyperventilate if they saw me dancing with the princess of Videoland. <laughs> Some other time, Kevin. I've got too many responsibilities here. Hey! Whoa! Dude, 
Duke, will you stop chasing things? <clears throat> He's been getting me in trouble doing that ever since he was a pup. Sorry if I upset your cat. But I don't have a cat. Where does this warp zone go to? Bayou Land. Bayou Land? Oh, that mud of mine would have to pick the worst place in the universe to chase a stupid cat. Stay cool. I'll be right back. Dookie! Here, boy! He's taking the bait! King Hippo and Cotton Whistle, take the warp zone to the bayou. And make sure Captain Ann never comes out of the swamp. <laughs> No use. I'll never fit into this pipe. Uh, nonsense. All you need is a little lubrication. Lettuce is green, tomatoes are red. Turn King Hippo into a salad head. Hey, this ain't lubrication. Into the pipe without any toil. Abracadabra, vinegar and oil. Ooh, I'll toss your salad. Vegetable! Oh, where did I get my hand? Really? Where did I get my hand? Princess, look what we found. It's a Robocat. I caught it trying to sneak out of the warp zone. We'd better warn Kevin that something's up. Come on, Simon. We're going to buy you land. Uh, and get my clothes filthy? I'm sorry, but Simon Belmont, the vampire hunter, never travels in the bayou. Did you see that, Simon? She practically begged you. Come on, Simon! After you, your wonderfulness! Your pretty little feet are much too dainty to step in this muck. Thank you, Simon. And more importantly, so are mine. <coughs> I hate mud. like without you. You're the best friend I've got in the world. Especially this world. I'm a whiz with the old power pad, or I'd have been a deep. Quick set! Oh! Phew! For a minute there, I could have sworn I was. I believe the prettiest rainbow leads to a magical sea. And my pretty mermaids, princess mermaids, are waiting there for me. My pretty mermaids, princess mermaids. As for the lead crowns and flowing hair. When you tip her mermaid tail in water, her secret name shows me. My 
Five Pretty Mermaids, Princess Mermaids, each sold separately with a surprise name design on her fin. Pretty Crimp and Curl has hair that's easy to style and stays like magic. Pretty Crimp and Curl's got a new kind of hair. It's easy to curl or braid everywhere. Pretty Crimp and Curl, do it up and then. It'll stay like magic till you do it again. You don't need heat for these hot looks. Hey, Lizzie, I look just like you. Pretty Crimp and Curl. Xavier Roberts Pretty Crimp and Curl from the Cabbage Patch Kids each purchased separately with all these styling tools. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, wherever I go, he goes. My buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy and me. Kids sister, kids sister, kids sister, kids sister. Wherever I go, you're gonna go. Kids sister, kids sister, kids sister, kids sister, kids sister and me. My buddy. And kid sister, each sold separately from Play School. And now back to Captain N and the new Superman world. Oh, that was cool. oh great! The quicksand's drained my power. He gets awful indigestion for meeting strangers. <laughs> Keeps me up all night. You must be Bayou Billy. W wait, I need your help. If and y'all are lost, uh, the warp zone out of the bayou is right past them trees. I know, I just came from there. I lost my dog. And you're the greatest tracker in the bayou. Without your help, I'll never find him. Dog? Well, why didn't you say so? Hop in. <whistles> <gasps> this here's my pet alligator, Loafer. Oh, looky there. He likes you. Oh, just what I need. Now, don't you fret none, kid. When Bio Billy's done teaching you, you'll be able to track down your dog's fleas. Now, the first thing you gotta learn about tracking in the bayou is that footprints don't float. So you gotta look for other signs, like these here broken tullies. Your dog was here, hmm, I'd say about an hour ago. Well, then we've got to hurry. Hey, not so fast. Never travel in the bayou without first getting some power items. <laughs> Billy, look out! Let me show you how we do it in the bayou. <laughs> See? Nothing to it. <laughs> Whew! Good thing I've got my power pad. Jumping won't do you no good against a frog, man. Why not? That's why. Billy, help! You're doing just fine, kid. <laughs> nice move, kid. Nice move. Thanks. Can we go find Duke now? Don't rush it, kid. You still gotta learn about this here by you. Looks like you're gonna make one Jim Dandy Swamp. Well, come on, Billy. We gotta find Duke now. Sorry, kid. I can't come with you. Gotta rustle up some poachers. So, Bayou Billy thinks he's taught him all there is to know about the swamp, does he? Well, we'll see if Captain Ed can handle my little swamp creature. Is it ready, Dr. Wiley? Any second now, Mother Brain? Oh, it's so hot! Only a Mother Brain can love it! I'm ready! It's genetically programmed for only one purpose. To destroy Captain N! Into the bio warp zone! Kevin! Can you hear me? I think something horrible's happening.
happened to him? Oh, dear me. You really think so? How dreadful. Hmm. Those are definitely Duke's paw prints. Once my keen tracking skills lead me to him, the mutt will lead us straight to Kevin. Oof! Aha! Uh -huh. I found him! The clever cur is up that tree. But Simon, dogs don't climb trees! They don't? It's a good thing for you, I'm an animal lover. Now scoot before I change my mind and make fur underwear out of you. Some tracker you are. An honest mistake. Mountain lions are related to dogs, you know. They're related to cats. Aha! Uh -huh. I always suspected Duke was part cat. Oh, brother. From now on, I'll do the tracking. Kevin! Snake! Oh, I hope he's okay. Duke, here, boy! Well, there's nothing around here. You see anything, King Hippo? No, there's nothing under the water. Let's check that way. Junk. Well, I've got an idea. This is the stupidest idea you ever dreamed up. If we don't take care of Captain N, Mother Brain will brain us. Here goes nothing. Hey, this is terrific. Look out! Listen. Look. Look, there he is. Mow him down. Hey! Huh? Sorry, I don't have time to stay for supper. An alligator jet ski. What a concept. They're Kevin's footprints, all right. Speaking of footprints, it's a crime to mistreat such beautiful feet. These cute little devils. Yeah! Can't you ever think of anyone but yourself? I'm sorry, your cuteness. You're absolutely right. I should be thinking more about you. <laughs> Chew on that for a while, and don't forget the brush. Ouch! Ooh! Ah! Yeah! Ooh! Captain Ed! You got the wrong guy! I'm Simon Belmont! If you promise not to eat me, I'll take you to Captain N. Simon! Ooh, what a delightful surprise! My swamp creature is not only going to devour Captain Ed, but the princess and Simon Belmont as well! There's a warp zone just ahead. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. 
You wouldn't want our slimy friend to miss his lunch, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Cars again and again. Wow! Crunch them again! Power! Action! It's Hot Wheels Bigfoot Champions Crunch Arena. Bigfoot trunks also sold separately. Batteries not included. Getting a great Eggo waffle before anyone else takes dedication. But with the right moves, Crisp Eggo Waffle can be yours. Eggo Waffles from Kellogg's. Part of this nutritious breakfast. And always remember, leave no evidence. Star bright sparkles, show me how you love me. Sparkle when I hug you, long arm roll above. Star bright sparkles, when I turn your crown, see the colored stars go round. You fill my world with love. Wow! When I go to sleep tonight, no wow. other love will shine so bright. Sweet dreams. Starbright New Starbright Sparkles doll comes with her own star charm. Batteries not included, each sold separately. You thought you'd seen the last of her. You were wrong. All new. Da, da, I still da, dream da, of Jeannie, da, da, the movie, da, da, NBC Sunday. Da, 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 da. Eggplant and hippo burgers for everyone. Hey! Billy! Hey, kid! I found your mud! <laughs> Okay! Don't let him get away! If I were you, I'd be worried about myself. Oh, great! My zapper's got swamp guck in it! Forget the zapper! Get the crash star! But I can't! The swamp creature is blocking it! Sure you can, kid! Just remember what I told you! Got it!
Later that evening, in the bayou... This isn't fair, Your Highness. But I promised you a candlelight dinner, Simon. And I always keep my promise. Thanks again for helping us out, Billy. And for teaching me about the bayou. My pleasure. I just wish you could have taught Duke to stop chasing things. Oh, no. Where does that warp zone lead to? That's no warp zone. That there's the entrance to Loafer's Nest. <laughs> I think Duke's finally learned his lesson. We'll be back. Presenting the Fisher Price three in one tournament table. Breakfast is ready. One more ball, Mom. Where a simple game of pool is just the beginning. Soon, it explodes into an all-out tournament with table tennis balls flying. Dinner's ready. And a glide hockey game so fast and furious. Good night, boys. There's no telling how long you'll play. One more game. The Fisher-Price three-in-one tournament table. Table tennis, hockey, pool. Batteries not included. My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. <laughs> My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. My Kellogg's Rice Krispies are talking. That's nice, Harold. But what are they saying? They say that three strange dudes will come into my life. Hey! Who are you calling strange? Yo, Stereo! Kellogg's Rice Krispies are the fun part of your complete breakfast. What does your Rice Krispies say to you? Mine says, we're in Rita. Super Mario Brothers 3 from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Yo, check this. Everybody wants to live large. It's only one way to do it. The more you learn, the more you earn. Wonderful eggs filled with my sweet, crunchy peanut butter crunch cereal. Come on, let's bag that bird. <laughs> Sunnies! Time to swing into action. <laughs> oh, you saved her. You're not lying. <laughs> peanut butter crunch is a delicious part of a balanced breakfast. Nice, kitty. Question. The following people eat Wendy's kids' meals. Yes or no? Yes! Yeah! No way! Yeah! Are you kidding me? Definitely! Yes! Wendy's kids' meals are just for kids. Now, guess what's inside? It's Speed Riders! Ready to race! Ready to write! They're fun! They're fast! There's one in every Wendy's kids' meal! You can collect all six! What do Bo Jackson, Wayne Gretzky, and Michael Jordan have in common? Pro Stars, the Saturday morning NBC. Oh no, it's cartoon. This fall. WOWL TV 15 Florence. It is a legend no one will forget. Everyone thought King Koopa had left the Mushroom Kingdom. And then his doom ship attack. King Koopa was back with the greatest danger ever known. His Koopa Kids. Using their new superpowers, the Super Mario Brothers rescued Princess Toadstool and beat back the evil Koopa family. I'll get those plumbers! Stay tuned! Captain N and Super Mario Brothers World will be right back. 
Our solar system is made up of nine planets. Mercury. From Chips Ahoy, there's Sprinkle Chips Ahoy. With lots of chocolate chips and magical colored sprinkles, there's a party in every bite. <laughs> questions? Could you explain that again? Certainly. Our solar system. Sprinkle Chips Ahoy! A party in every bite! Nothing could drag me out of this bed. There's a mad mummy loose in desert land! We gotta get that mummy back where it belongs before it scares the pasta out of everybody! Calm her down. As soon as I get up from under this tent. Here's our chance to sneak off without anyone seeing us. <laughs> yes! I wonder why the mummy's so upset. I bet it has something to do with that golden mummy case those bratty Koopa twins are sneaking off with. We gotta get that case. Luigi, Toad, follow me. Mario, keep the mummy from hurting anyone until we get back. No problem, princess. Excuse me, Miss Mummy! Uh, may I have a word with you? My little prince, at last I found you! 
Her little prince? What's she talking about? Come, my little prince, Mushroom Carmen, give Mommy a hug! Yuck, a hug from her could be bad for my health. I better scram! Now for my giant getaway leap! Great leap! Lousy landing! Luigi! Princess, help! Give up, Koopas! You're finished! Even my youngest Koopalings can outsmart you do-good dodos. I dare you to come back here and say that! <coughs> oh no! He's been captured by the marauding mummy! I'll take you home to our tomb, my son, and I'll never let anyone take you away again. <coughs> Super Mario Brothers World will return. Pretty Crimp and Curl has hair that's easy to style and stays like magic. Pretty Crimp and Curl's got a new kind of hair. It's easy to curl or braid everywhere. Pretty Crimp and Curl do it up and then. It'll stay like magic till you do it again. You don't need heat for these hot looks. Hey, Lizzie, it looks just like you. Pretty Crimp and Curl. Xavier Roberts Pretty Crimp and Curl from the Cabbage Patch Kids each purchase separately with all these styling tools. Lego your fork, Lego your knife, here come the great taste and wobble, big is your bite. Echo Minis are here and now silver wears out, Echo Minis are waffles, the size of your mouth. So now you can Lego an Echo or two, still have a couple left over for you. You can cut loose, pour it on, Echo, but look out, you Echo Mouth. New Ego Minis. Part of this complete breakfast, no special utensils required. I'm back. And so is Captain N and Super Mario Brothers World. Poor Mario. He's been doomed to some tomb and we'll never find him. If we only had a map of the pyramids. If it's maps you want, I got a cousin who can help! What? I got maps to the pyramids! Maps to the tombs of the mummies! Maps to the houses of the mushroom stars! You name it, I got it! I'll take a map to the mummy tombs. Good choice, your royal cuteness! Look! Huh? Hey, that map's a phony. It's got a picture of Mario on it. No, don't you see? The prince looks like Mario. Yeah, I get it. That's why the mad mummy Shanghai him. The only way we're gonna get Mario back is to break into Castle Koopa, get the mummy case, and trade the real mummy prince for Mario. Aw, give your mummy mommy a big kiss. Lady, if you weren't so wrapped up in yourself, you could see I'm not your little boy. All that running around has made you grouchy. It's time for a nice 10,000 year no! nap. Uh, I like long naps, but not that long. Oof. Whoa! After your nap, somehow I doubt it. This steam cloud balloon was a brilliant idea, Luigi. Yeah, nothing stops Raccoon Luigi. Yay! Except maybe that Mushroom Kingdom Twister. <laughs> Jeez. My 
beautiful balloon. Ah! It's ruined. At least Koopa's guards haven't spotted us. Until now! Invaders, get King Koopa. Quick, into the tower. Maybe there's another way out. Oh! Hey, look! The real prince's mummy case! Oh, great! Now, if we only had a way to get it past King Koopa... Times like this, I ask one question. What would Mario do if he were here? Well, how do you like my special steam-powered mummy sled? Compared to what? You got him trapped in a tower, you royal meanness. Good. I'm gonna coopertate him personally. Come on, hip and hop. Watch how King Dad handles things. We're all evil meanness, a mean dad. We got you trapped, Princess Toadstool! Get down here right now! Years, I'll get too hungry. Mario, hey, you're safe. <laughs> oh, lighten up, Luigi. I've had more hugging today than I can stand. What happened to the Queen Mummy? I left her in the tomb. No way she can get to us. Except by crashing through that wall. What are you doing with my son? Uh, you made a mistake, Queen Mushroom Common. This is our friend Mario. There's your real son. You imposter! How dare you pretend to be my son! You don't look anything like him! But you look exactly like my husband. Come to me, my darling. Uh, <laughs> excuse me, but I, I gotta find that map salesman <laughs> and buy a map to someplace else! You can't be your best if 
You don't eat a good breakfast. What should I do? What would anyone do when their bath water turns crude? Get me the Mario Brothers! Well, as long as these camels keep the big mouths shut, we should be A-OK! -okay. Yeah, but where do the oil come from? My palace is built over an oil well. And somehow, the oil pipes leading up from my well must have gotten crossed with the water pipes from the oasis. In case you're Royal Sultanus, we gotta replumb your plumbing before the oil pressure builds and your palace blows sky high. Jesus! Help me! These yucky pipes won't stay switched! I told you this was no job for a beauty queen! Tell that to the Mario Brothers, Cootie Pie. They'll be here any second. I hear you whining loud and clear, my darling detestable daughter. The Doom Ship's fuel tanks are nearly filled, and you can't let the Mario Brothers discover that we're stealing the Sultan's oil through his water pipes until we've drained his oil well dry. So, stop the Mario Brothers. That's an order. Oh, sometimes you just get so bossy I could spit in his soup. Stop the Mario Brothers. Relax, sis. I've got a scheme so sneaky that Dad'll wish he thought of it. Um. Ah! What happened to my usual beautiful self? I turned you into Mario's dream girl. It's the perfect way to stall him. <laughs> So long, sis. I gotta split. Chi-Chi, go back! Yo, get back here! You forgot to do my tail! Whoa! Well, hello, handsome. Aren't you the famous Super Mario? A super guess, my super beautiful lady. Pleased to meet you. I am Lady Fettuccini Alfredo. A little bit saucy, but very, very nice. Hey, uh, I don't want to be rude, but wasn't that a tail I just saw? A tail? Me? Why, I have never been so insulted in all my life! Here I am, lost in these dungeons for days, without a thing to eat, and now you are accusing me of having a tail? Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Please forgive my little brother for being so rude. Perhaps you'd like a gourmet snack. You know, Mario, sweetie, I'm an amateur plumber myself. Her? A plumber? <laughs> hey, speaking of plumbing, Mario, we've got a job to do. Luigi's right! Mm. And now that we've eaten, I think you should bring the Sultan and all his guests down here, where they'll be safe in case the... Uh, castle explodes. <laughs> Isn't she wonderful, Luigi? Always looking out for other people. Lady Fettuccini says this is the safest place to be. You take the weight of an arm and a plumber? Whose dress doesn't even match her tail? Huh? Maybe not, but it certainly matches the rest of me. Chase Restore me to my natural loveliness! <laughs> <sighs> you mean I fell for Cootie Pie Koopa? Whoa! 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 
Congratulations, my dastardly descendants. I have seldom seen badness done better. And as for you, your fun spoiling goody goodies, you're finally my Cooper captives. Sultan, I'll be upstairs gloating while the doom ship sucks your oil well dry. <laughs> Come on, Luigi. We gotta put a clog in Koopa's plans. You'll never see the Mario Brothers again. Just watch this. <laughs> I dare you to come over here and say that. The Mario Brothers are finished! <laughs> you wanna bet? <laughs> I think it's time Lady Fettuccini met her dream reptile. Sanova Koopa! But Mario! Ah, wrong voice! But Mario, what am I supposed to do? Sweep Cootie Pie off her feet while I take care of plumbing matters upstairs. My friends call me Casanova Koopa. Mm. You can call me Sweet Lips. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow, you've got some kisser. Yeah, who is this guy anyway? Goody Pie, can we get some privacy? What do you say we clear out the riffraff and redecorate in here? I'm not sure King Dad would like this. Daddy only wants me to be happy. And believe me, Cheatsy, Casanova's the only reptile for me. Luigi! Luigi? Princess, when I give the signal, turn the wheel. Whoa! The Koopa kids are right behind me! Luigi, this way! Princess, now! The Doom Ship! Yeah! 
It's ruined! Hey, since the Koopas left their wand behind, we might as well give it a shot! Oh no, the wand's melted! But my palace is perfect! In that case, I've got first dibs on the jacuzzi! Don't. I fixed it. Well, I wrote it. Well, I had to kiss Cootie Pie. <laughs> Eerie Indiana, Simon's little brother gets zapped into a mummy movie. But then, where's the... Eerie Indiana, NBC Sunday. Till 1993. That's right. Charge your purchase and pay no interest till 1993. Or take 6% off of paying cash. This will be the lowest price Las Vegas will ever see on every single item in the store. Plus, win $5,000 worth of furniture just for coming in. Let those cute faces fool you. With a flip of the lip, the Pooch Patrol goes from friendly to fearless. My favorite nephew! When you're on your side, you don't have to hide. You're protected by the Pooch Patrol. Pooch Patrol from Tonka. Each sold separately. Unbelievable. I got to be on a Saturday morning show on NBC. It's called Wish Kid. Watch it. Macaulay Culkin is Wish Kid this fall. Greetings, humans. This is Frankenstein. There's a lot more of me coming up, so don't touch that dial, man. Now it's time to begin. Happy 
our school that we're singing where the myth is spinning. little dude let's hit the waves all right i'm finally gonna learn how to surf man whoa you just scored your first lesson little dude it's called getting trashed it's to be avoided right rule number uno you gotta make friends with the waves Not to mention the locals. Hey, Jaws, dude. Whoa, that dude's really working the waves. He's a natural. Gnarly looking, but a natural. I haven't seen surfing like that in years. That dude's my best buddy, man. He was teaching me how to surf. I got trashed. Major trashed. Hey, man, I was just telling this human dweeb about my first surfing lesson. Whoa, little dude, this is no ordinary human dweeb. It's Kahuna Bob, only the most righteous surfer did in the history of water. Well, uh, that was a few years back. I'm chilling out in retirement now. <sighs> this dweeb is getting on my nerves. But hey, you've got a few righteous moves yourself, dude. I mean, you've even got a built-in wetsuit. With a little help from me and some serious practice sessions, who knows? You could be the next kahuna. Whoa! Way awesome! No way awesome. You're supposed to be teaching me how to surf, man. Sorry, little dude, but no way I'm gonna pass up pointers from the kahuna himself. But you promised, man. Get moving, dude. You're gonna miss that gnarly set. What a day, man. First I get trashed by a wave, then I get trashed by my best friend. Iggy, where's your brain today? I thought so. You left it in your locker again. Frank and Tyke, you're late. And you're ugly, man. So, we're all agreed. Knowing a second language is definitely hip. 
Which brings us to the obvious next question. Can anybody here speak another language? Hey, sure, teach. I speak a little Transylvanian. I want to bite your neck. That's understandable, Vinny. Yes, Reggie. Uh, well, I speak fluent werewolf. Uh, loosely translated, that means there's a full moon tonight. I can speak ancient Egyptian. Of course, it's in hieroglyphics. This means I like a tomb of the view. In Schneiderese, that means I think I've got my work cut out for me. Ah, Frankentike. I see you've condescended to join us. How thoughtful. But where's our favorite swamp creature, Gil? Hey, don't ask me, man. I'm not that webhead keeper. Ooh. I guess that's a sore subject. Well, maybe you'll like our next subject. Spanish. To say good morning, turn to the amigo next to you and say, Buenos dias. I don't have an amigo, man. How do you say bogus in Spanish? Hey, Sal, what's cooking? Today I made lots of finger food. We got finger sandwiches, we got sticky fingers, and for dessert we got some nice fresh lady fingers. Ooh, yum, lady fingers. I'll take a handful. There you go, Cleo. Bony appetit. Oh, and don't forget, tomorrow we got the elbow macaroni. Mwah! <laughs> Another helping, please? Now that's one sad little monster. Poor Frank and Tyke is just lost without Gil. Yes, it must be tough losing your best friend, huh, Vin? Hey, not to mention losing your only friend. Definitely not cool, Reg. Well, I'm gonna ask him to join us. Hey, Frank and Tyke, want to sit with us? You're looking a little down in the dumps. Oh, yeah? Well, you look a lot like a dump yourself, bandage brain. Get lost. Oh, last time I tried to be nice to that anvil head. And so he set out in the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria on his daring voyage of discovery. Well, well, Mr. Waterman, do you realize Columbus set sail without you? Hey, tell that Columbus dude I'm way sorry, but I was getting the lowdown on some totally righteous surfing moves. Yeah, well, if you keep this up, your grades are going to make some righteous moves, too. Like, straight down. Like, so what? I was getting tips from the Major Kahuna himself. Kahuna Bob. Uh-huh. Well, take a tip from Kahuna Schneider. Surf on your own time. During school hours, you're mine. Hey, I missed you at lunch, man. Here, I saved you a half a finger sandwich. Thanks, little dude. Kahuna Bob says I gotta keep up my strength. Kahuna Bob says, pardon me while I barf, man. Hello, Mrs. Waterman. This is Max Schneider, your son Gil's teacher. I... Wally and I can't come to the phone right now. We're on our annual migration to the Black Lagoon. But if you'll leave a message... I'll be lucky if I leave this booth. We'll call you when we get back. Have a moist day. So much for help from the home front. Guess I'll have to straighten Gil out myself, if he ever shows up. Sorry about the shower, dudes. <laughs> Gil, say hello to Sam and Dave, the Kiwi Cola reps. They're sponsoring the surf championship this weekend. Hey, rep dudes. Hey, man, the Kahuna says you're his pick to win. Whoa! Do you really think I'm ready, Kahuna? Does a surfer wear jams? Now smile, dude.
Frankentike? Earth to Frankentike. That was the final bell. You don't have to stay after school. You didn't do anything wrong today. <sighs> yeah, I miss Gil too. You know, if he wants to be friends with that geeky human surfer instead of me, then forget him, man. Don't worry, Frankentike. This kahuna business is just a passing phase. Gil will be back before you know it. Hey, you were right, man. Hey, dudes, like what's hops? Gil, this is getting out of hand. If you're gonna show up this late, why show up at all? Exacto mundo, teacher dude. I just popped in to tell you I've been wasting too much wave time on this school gig. What do you mean, man? I mean, from now on, the Gill Man is Splitsville, out of here city, Dr. Gone. Uh, in boring old English, if you don't mind, Gill. The Kahuna says I've got tomorrow's Kiwi Cola Surf contest like in the Bagola. Then I'm turning pro. So later, school dudes, I quit. Here's your history test, Vinny. C minus. George Washington crossed the Delaware by boat. He didn't fly. No wings? I thought he was in a hurry. <laughs> Frank and Tyke, you get an F plus. The construction of your sentences was dismal. However, the construction of your paper airplane shows definite improvement. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I did better than Gil. I mean, I may be failing history, but Gil is history. <laughs> I miss my friend, man. <laughs> I'm feeling poorly myself. Gil was such a gentlemanly creature. Came from good southern swamp stock, he did. I can't stand it. Gil's more invisible around here than I am. What are you, a bunch of crybabies? We've still got a shot at getting Gil back. What do you mean by that, Schneider? <laughs> I mean, it's a beautiful day for the beach. season. Where can a cat become a dog? A dog? <laughs> Where can an ordinary girl become a star? Where's the girl you left behind? She's the Where can a little mouse become a big hero? You saved my life. I'll never forget this, kid. In the magical new holiday adventure. He's coming. Steven Spielberg presents An American Tale. Bible Goes West. Rated G. Now playing at theaters everywhere. So you can get hot because the hammer's coming home. Go, go, glittering pants in a cool boom box with a beat to dance. MC Hammer Time, freak to the beat. Like that, with MC Hammer, you're ready to rap. Sing along. Make up your own. Yeah, you can get hot because the hammer's coming home. When you dance with me, we'll be too much. Because it's homeboy, you can't touch. One hammer's got a boom box, you buy the batteries. The other's got a song tape, don't go separately. Man, that's where we'll find Gil and that human surfer dweeb. Good. I'll get to show off my itsy-bitsy, teeny-weeny shroud bikini. Whoa, I can't believe anyone would be caught dead in that. Then again, you're already dead. Whoa, can't you read, dude? There's no place to park. <laughs> Is there a problem? <laughs> Thank you. I don't know what that boy was talking about. There's plenty of room to park. Who cares? It's a horrible day for the beach. Hey, tell me about it. This sun's killing me. Not to mention the place is crawling with humans. They won't bite, JP. Now let's get changed and hit the beach. Yeah! yeah! Hey, look, Gil's gonna shoot the pier. Gil, stop hot dogging for these ho dads and keep away from that pier. Way to go! Yo, look, 
look at Gil Go. Yes, he is quite adept at maximizing forward wave thrust while mounted on floating fiberglass. He's good, darling, but he's no Frankie Avalon. Hey, class dudes and dudettes. You come to watch me, like, work out for the championship? No, man. We came to Gil. Man, that was a stupid, dangerous stunt to pull. Haven't you learned anything? Jeez, like, sorry, Kahuna dude, just trying to have some fun. The dude just doesn't listen. You must be the Kahuna Bob I've heard so much about. I'm Max Schneider, Gil's teacher, and I... I can't talk now, dude. I got a champion to set straight. Whoa! You get trashed again? We're wasting our time, man. As long as that dweeb's around, we'll never get near Gil. Calm down, Frank and Tyke. We're not dead yet. Speak for yourself, man. I haven't had this much fun on the beach since I buried Long John Silver. Hey, that's cool. There's my soul more than a cheery campfire howl. What marsh did you get these mallows from? Because they look marvelous. Hey, thanks for letting us camp out, Teach. You're pretty cool. Make that c cold, Vinny. Indeed. Now, this is what I call a beautiful evening. Cold, damp. Hi, folks. Mind if we warm up at your fire? Sure. Have a seat. Uh, you cold? Not anymore. Hey, little dude, you guys still hanging out? Gil! Smart move, teacher dude. You're gonna have the best seats to watch me win the contest tomorrow. That's not why we're here, Gil. Yeah, we came because we want you to come back to school. School? Yeah, you remember. Big drafty place, lots of blackboards. How about coming back, man? No way, dudes. Kahuna Bob says after I ace the competition tomorrow, I'll be a legend on this beach. Say, Mr. Legend, where does Kahuna Bob live anyway? Down the beach, I guess. I haven't seen it, but it's got to be like one Mongo mansion. Dinner is served. Here are the pizzas you ordered. I got one just the way you like it, Gil. With live anchovies. Whoa! Extra live anchovies. Now then, who ordered the toxic waste pizza with olives? Mmm. Want a slice, Mr. S? Uh, no thanks, Sid. I think I'll take a little walk. Hey, I miss you too, little dude. But when it comes to this school thing, I'm like a total wipeout. I'm not exactly the class brain myself, man. Like, uh, someone dealt me an Edsel. All I know is, when it comes to surfing, I'm like a genius. When I'm in the slot, like riding the waves, like I'm totally bulletproof. What to do? Dolls and chocolate chops sold separately. Shop comes with a packet of Swiss Miss Hot Cocoa Mix. You put it to... Yes! Wow, Tony, they're tough. You're next. Don't worry, Ace. We've practiced. But first, let's start with a complete breakfast, including my Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. It helps bring out the tiger in you. I hope your serve is good. Good serve? Why, this, this serve is great! Show them you're a tiger. Girl. Show them what you can do. All yours, tiger. The taste of Kellogg's Frosted
and friends. and Michelle each have their own special outfits. Dolls each sold separately. What happens to the one kid who forgets to set his watch back? Hey, where is everybody? It's a very eerie Indiana NBC Sunday. Excuse me. I'm looking for the residents of Kahuna... Bob? Gil's teacher, right? Come on in. Thanks. And it's ex-teacher. Hmm. Interesting place you've got here. Not exactly the House of Champions, is it? How about some beans? No, thanks. I already passed up a toxic waste pizza. I came to talk about Gil. Mega talent. <laughs> Reminds me of myself when I was a kid. Surfing was everything to me. I even dropped out of school to catch more wave time. Really? So you advise Gil to quit school, too? Me? I never told Gil to quit. Why would I? So he could end up living like this? I don't get it. You were a big champion. And a bigger chump. I got cheated out of all my money because I didn't know better. And I didn't know better because I never finished high school. Hmm. Well, here's your chance to teach Gil what you had to learn the hard way. <laughs> Gil, the buzz is you've got this year's Kiwi Cola Trophy locked. Mucho thanks so, TV dudo. Now, about this radical wetsuit. Later, Trent. Hey, man, how come you never told me you quit school? No big deal. Why waste time in school when, like, I can have all this? Surf's up, Gil! Surf's up, Gil! Surf's up, Gil! Hey, dude, this beach isn't going anywhere. But without an education, neither are you. <laughs> Whoa there, dude. I think you're, like, jealous because I'm the top kahuna now. Well, kahuna, any luck? I wiped out, man. But there's always another wave. This is Trent Flatlip bringing you the Kiwi Cola Surf Championship. Boy, the surf fanatics are out today in some of the gnarliest get-ups this reporter has ever seen. Let's get out of here, man. This place is a breeding ground for human dweebs. Well, we might as well stick around and cheer for Gil, because after today... Why, we may never see the boy again. Hey, yo, then I'm gonna get a better seat. And now, lining up for his run, Australia's tidal wave wallaby, Jammin' Jimbo McClimbo. If anybody can handle today's treacherous water conditions, Jimbo's the dude to do it to it. It looks like Jimbo got Jambo that time. Corky Laguna's up. Oh, Corky Laguna's down. But here comes Monty Zuma. He's looking good. No, Monty gets mauled. And now, here comes the Gill Man. What control? What finesse? What magazine is that? Go, Gill, go! Oh. <laughs> Waterman's a cinch to win. No one can touch him. This kid is a monster. So tell me something I don't know. This kid is unbelievable. But wait, there's another wave slider out there. Can't be. Yes, it is. It's Kahuna Bob. But I thought he'd hung up his jams and retired. Yeah, so did I. Like, what gives, Kahuna, dude? I'm out here to show you you still got a lot to learn, Gel. <laughs> What a bodacious ride! Hey, are you okay, Gilman? Hang loose, we'll get you out. Kahuna! 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 You were awesome out there, man. Yeah, but he was awesomer. Kahuna, how does it feel recapturing the coveted Kiwi Cola crown? Later, Trent. Like, like, wow, you totally trashed me, dude. But, 
But why? To teach you a lesson, Gil Buddy. He'll never be the best without learning the basics. And that means staying in school. Right, Schneider, dude? Right on, Kahuna. Are we leaving now, Schneider? Yes, Boneyard, I'd say we're all ready to go. Well, class, I guess Gil's not showing up. I'll be your amigo for Spanish today. Buenos dias, Frank and Tyke. Sorry I'm late, teacher dude, but I had to show a new kid the way to school. How's it hanging, dudes? Buenos dias, Gil man. Buenos dias, uh, human dweeb. Very good, Frank and Tyke, but you dudes are way tardy, man. Like better late than never, man. Just hang it out? Oh, no! Then join Matt and his new friend as they hit the road. In the wildest... You like seafood? Seafood. Ew, gross. Wackiest... Your father's a savage. And what is... You're so weird. New movie that has everybody jumping. My Girl, rated PG. At theaters now. Wow, Tony, they're tough. You're next. Don't worry, Ace. We've practiced. But first, let's start with a complete breakfast, including my Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. It helps bring out the tiger in you. I hope your serve is good. Good serve? Why, this, this serve is great. Show them you're a tiger. Girl. Show them what you can do. All yours, tiger. The taste of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Man, it brings out the tiger in you. Guess what we're doing after school? Babysitting. That's cool. With babysitter Skipper and Courtney. rock a baby. We'll wrap you up. Launch your bottles. There, they started. Now that they're sleeping. What do we do? Skipper puts on the music. Wall, and we rock <laughs> goodbye, too. <laughs> babysitter Skipper and babysitter Courtney doll sold separately. Each comes with a baby doll and all this. From Mattel. What happens to the one kid who forgets to set his watch back? Hey, where is everybody? It's a very eerie Indiana NBC Sunday. Yo, what's up? This is Will Smith, but my friends call me the Fresh Prince. But now that I'm in my new crib, you can call me his royal freshness, right? So yo, watch the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air Monday on NBC.
Watch Free speech, some man. <laughs> Yo, you got you gonna get sick what? eating what? like that, man. Hey man, you got sausage on that one too? Yeah, man, that's great. Pizza! Look, I came here to work. I ain't got no time for you to pizza freak, man. Later. Oh no, man, get out of here. Same pepperoni. Lego Nautica Collection, Pier Police, Launch and Load Seaport, and Coastal Cutter, each sold separately from Lego. One kid's meal right away. Can you make that too? Now at Burger King. Billy, lunch is ready. Kids Club Character Watermates. Time for school. You can collect a new one each week when you buy a kid's meal. They're so much fun, you'll never want to get out of the water. Really? The Burger King Kids Club. Just for fun, just for you. Back to our show. short. I've already borrowed on my allowance up to the year 2050. 
Yeah, me too. We all just got paid on our part-time jobs. What? But well, we have jobs. We're rappers. Oh, well, excuse me, please. Then why don't you and Kid go down and rap the van out of the police yard? Look, guys, either we get the van or we're gonna miss the gig at the Silver Soup. But, but, cool, we'll find a job in no time. Good luck. You know, my brother hasn't done a lick of real work in his life. Mm-hmm, the shark might kill him. And I'm telling you, kid, the shark might kill me. Go on. Straight up. Play. We can't let everybody else work hard for the money while we just hang out. I do. We've got to do the right thing. How many times do I have to tell you? Turnips and mustard greens are not the same. Hey, a green leaf is a green leaf. Oh, yeah? Well, how about if you just do it mine? How about if I just quit? Fine. I'll handle the big opening night myself. Here's our opportunity. For what? I'm not hungry. For work, doofus. Uh, excuse me, sir. What? Uh, that's it. I'm out of here. Uh, uh, wait. This is too late. You'd like to apply for a job here? Do you have any experience? Uh, no. But I do know the difference between a turnip green and a mustard green. Great. You're hired. Uh, cool. But can you hire my friend, too? Oh, wait. Hey. I don't know the difference between a pig and a bean. like you to help me sell my dream. See? Soul food pizza. Ooh. I know, I know. It, it almost makes you lose your crap up. It almost makes me lose something. Look, wait right here. I'm in. Mean, just let me handle everything. Good. You can handle those pizzas, and I'm not touching them. Did you say we look like heroes? Huh. Now you boys are ready for our grand opening. Let's go to work. I've made a clean getaway. Well, looky there, a shooting star, and it's heading this way. <laughs> a deserted island. Well, at least I can eat me lucky charms in peace. <gasps> wow, the marshmallow is delicious. Oh, no, more kids. I've got to get away. But how? There's a big star-shaped hole in me balloon. Maybe there's an answer in me magic rainbow. Let's see. Moons, hearts, diamonds, stars. Oh, did I say stars? Magic rainbow, make a match. Turn that star into a patch. Take me away, star balloon. Whoops. Yay! Kids, now for the first time ever, it's a marshmallow inside a marshmallow. The star's in the balloon. Wow. Mm, doubly delicious. It's the magical part of a complete breakfast. New in specially marked boxes of Lucky Charms. Great. Too bad I'm paying you to make pizza now. Get back to work before that pizza dough gets hard. Right, all oh, right. Keep up the good work, kid. You know, you've been doing a good job all week. Thanks, Frank. Frankie, I got an idea to get more business. Let's have an all-you-can-eat special. Yeah? Well, I'll think about it. Listen, you two, I have to go 
to the bank. I'll be back in a few hours. Kid, keep a real close eye on things here, will you? No problem. Hmm. Obviously, Frank's jealous of my innovative ideas. Yeah, obviously. Well, I'll do something that'll really make him happy. What now, Clay? I'll announce today's all-you-can-eat special. All right, look, Clay, forget about that and help me with these tablecloths. Oh, kid, why don't you lighten up? We're supposed to be working, not goofing off. Oh, hey, speaking of work, I have to work on our song order for tonight's gig. all-you-can-eat special. Well, it, it's kind of, you know... It's... Sign in the window, say so. Uh, uh, yes, y yes, it does. Uh, we do, yeah. Good. We'll take a dozen barbecue rib cheese pizzas for starters and hurry. Hut, hut, hut. Yes, sir. Clay, I need your help. Oh, I gotta get these songs in order. Clay, if these guys don't get pizzas, they don't eat us. You gotta do some work around here, because this all you can eat idea was yours. But then my work is done. See, I'm really only an idea man. Hey, big brother. Hi, kid. We are here as promised. Ooh, nice hat, kid. I wonder if I look that fly in the chicken wing. Oh, look, we're kind of busy. What are you girls doing here? Well, play called us and said we were going to rehearse here. What? Lady, welcome. We'll... What? Chill, kid. Our show is tonight, and we haven't had time to rehearse all week. Play. You guys look kind of mad. Oh, relax. We got it under control. Kid here is going to make their pizzas while we rehearse. What? <laughs> all right, cool, guys. Rehearsal's just starting. My dog is missing the next time, yeah. What are we gonna do? More dirty trick. That what? Come on. Uh, go for it. A, 14, 52. Uh. Uh, hey, how about some service around here? Sorry, Acorn. This is a respectable establishment. No animals allowed. What you say, sucker? Uh, what? Um, uh, free pizzas on the house? Fine. I'll have 50 ton of pizzas and mineral water. It's a private passage easier to my personal party. Say what? He said he'll have 60 barbecue rib pizzas and 30 candy ham pizzas. I'm just gonna enjoy being waited on, hand and foot. Now hurry up with those pizzas. You're coming right up. Coming right up what? Coming right up, you little... What? Coming right up, sir. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys clear on everything? Play, don't worry about us, all right? We always look good. Pizza, pizza, come get your pizza. Wait a minute, here come the bad guys. See ya. They're looking for trouble, ready to start it. Acorn pit bull, be a cold heart. Pick the car for bare hands alone. Dropped it right into a toy zone. The rap mobile got told to impounds the mic, the drum, and all the sounds. Now working to get the car back. They need money, and that's a fact. The football team's there too, ready to eat. So heat the meat before they eat the seed. I want to see you in my office right now, kid. Great, we're gonna get canned. Here goes nothing. Well, well we're not fired, we got paid. Oh, we 
can clean up, call Herbie, and go get the Ratmobile. Oh, that's hype, kid. How about if we clean up after we get the van? I said we clean up first. Hey, man, you act like you in charge. That's because I am. Look, Frank just made me manager. Now let's get busy. I don't want to clean up right now. You've got no choice. I'm in charge. Oh, yeah? I got a choice. I quit. People eat Wendy's kids' meals. Yes or no? Yes! Yeah! No way! Yeah! Are you kidding me? Definitely! Yes! Wendy's kids' meals are just for kids. Now, guess what's inside? It's Speed Riders! Ready to race! Ready to write! They're fun! They're fast! There's one in every Wendy's kids' meal! You can collect all six! Not so fast. Think this mess is gonna clean itself? What mess? Later. Oreo, unlock the magic. Dating. Hope you have a good date. Hope you score. He's kidding, Dad. We know you won't score. National Blossom Week starts Monday after the Fresh Prince on NBC. Back to our show! Yo, kid, play. Thanks for working that job and helping me get my van back. I'm sure excited about performing at the Silver Sewer tonight, aren't you two? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you guys? Are you boys all ready for our first important performance? Yeah, but only because it may be our last performance. You got that right. Now, what was that all about? Play says Kid hasn't been paying attention to this gig. And Kid's mad at Play because he thinks Play's been no help on the job. Great. We're off to a superstar. Huh? A shipment of flour here, Mr. Frank. Uh, I don't normally get deliveries at night. Mammy, why well, don't poop for the birds and rabbits and black? Huh? Uh, he's right. Sunlight dries out the dough, so we travel now at night. Well, uh, then just leave it in the bag. Now, to mess things up so they get not play with Dickie Plane. It's an emergency. What? We have a show to do in a few minutes. Play, Frank needs help. Kid, what about me and this group? I say we go help him. Hey, are you coming or are you going to be a one-man band? No way. Kid is your best friend. Well, check this. Ever since we got that stupid job, Kid's been acting like the job is more important than us and our music. Listen, you knew you had to get a job, but you acted like it was playtime for play. Well, what's wrong with a little fun? Nothing on your own time, but not on your job. Oh, why not? Because a job isn't just a place you go goof around in and then collect some money, Applehead. But what about this music gig? Kid is your partner and your friend. Gigs come and go, but you got to work hard to hang on to good friends. Get it? Yeah. Come on, Leela. We got to go help Kid. Thanks, guy. Well, kid, you know me. I, I'm 
never left you hanging. Oh, yeah, I hear that. I think I might have an idea. Ratmobile's computer might help us. Herbie, how? It helped me create the right kind of sound wave on our PA. Well, what kind of sound wave do? The right one can vibrate enough to shake the dough apart. Oh, I get it. McDonald's, you can get one of eight totally cool California custom Hot Wheels cars. Awesome! Or a Barbie miniature. Barbie, you're the skating star. McDonald's Happy Meal, now with Hot Wheels or Barbie. Yo, I had enough. I'm gonna be sick. You ate enough. Look at you. Look at you. I knew you were gonna get sick. I told you. Hey, man, let's get out of here, man. Yeah, he looks pretty bad. Yeah, he does look pretty bad. I don't want a pal. Oh. Oh, look, look at Tony, 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 leaving the scene of the crime right here. Uh-huh. That was crazy, man. Lunchtime! Yo, Wiz, what's up, man? What you got there, man? Pizza. Oh! What's up with this guy? I don't know, man. Let's eat. Come on, man. Come on, pizza. Ooh. Want some pizza, play? Oh! 
Play, wake up. Wake up, Play. Wake up. Yo, we gotta bring him back. You're right. Wake up. Wake up. Don't worry about it, Play. I'm gonna take you back. Yeah. natural fruit drinks, you can save $5 on classic videos of your favorite Hanna-Barbera characters. Classic videos of me? They're worth a million bucks. Mm, sounds good. That one looks like a real dog. Plus, you'll have a chance to win thousands of great prizes. I think it's a blast. Look for details on the back of Capri Sun boxes. They are better than the average videos. And get your classic videos from Capri Sun. Here's what Las Vegas attorney Steve Wilson is saying about it. Ben Matlock has got one of the greatest jobs in the world. Are you sure? A real lawyer in a real city couldn't get away with wearing the same suit every day. Might be fun to watch the trial. Well, it's obvious that hot dogs are the key to a successful trial lawyer. So that's how. Perhaps all us trial lawyers better start eating more hot dogs. For hot dogging fun, turn to three for Matlock weekdays at four, beginning August 12th. This week, search for Shrine. Read down Amazon. Claw of Alligator, Claw of Jaguar. Will Daniel's son survive a deadly dance of fire? Wendy's Kids Meals are just for kids. Now, guess what's inside? 
It's Speed Riders, ready to race, ready to write. They're fun, they're fast. There's one in every Wendy's Kids Meal. You can collect all six. Never take eyes off river. Right. Sorry, Mr. Miyagi. Are you sure we're on the trail of the shrine, Mr. Miyagi? I haven't seen anything but trees and water all day. Me either. Those rumors about the animals acting weird must be superstition. Shrine works in mysterious ways. Sometimes little things show more than big. Just have to look harder. There he is! That way! Great Spirit, call the winged ones from the sky! Birds are sign. Shrine is near, so is danger. Left, right, balance, Daniel Sun. <coughs> we lost everything. Hurry, or lose shrine too. <coughs> You cannot escape us, coward! No! I... Hunter! Mud! Must run to adapt to environment, Daniel San. Smile! Come on, old man. Fight us! Uh, Mr. Miyagi's in trouble. Mr. Miyagi! Go, Miyagi be home for supper. But Mr. Miyagi! Go, Daniel San. I don't get it. Mr. Miyagi could have taken them with his eyes closed. Mr. Miyagi always has a reason. It must be to find the shrine. The boy! Come on! I know he went this way. Careful, Daniel. The jungle can play tricks on you. Ah! Oh, this is quicksand! I'm sinking! Do not fear. It is for intruders. You are Fred. I am Kala. You come to my home and change clothes. The way you fought the hunters. You, you run like the deer. You spring upon your prey like the jaguar. I never thought of it that way. Kala, why were the hunters after you? I was forced to flee my village. I am an outcast. Hunters do not want me to return. But why? No talk. Soon will be dark. We must catch fish. I think he expects us to follow. Ah! Where is the man? 
magic boy! Is he coming? Stand back, old woman! The boy is our rightful leader! Who is the intruder? Where is boy? We had him! Intruder attacked us! He escaped! You must answer for this crime. Who ask? I, Noa, chief of the Jaguar tribe. Then I answer, it no crime protect weak from strong. You have broken tribal law! I give your fate to the alligators! <laughs> Take him away! The people are talking! I saw the boy call the birds from the sky! Could he have the power to rule? There is no reason to fear him. He is a coward! It is the tales that spread among the tribe that we must fear. They hope for his return. We must find him and destroy him! Where I come from, man innocent until proven guilty. Where we come from, if you survive, you are innocent. <laughs> <laughs> This is not jury of my peers. Let us make sure the alligators have had their supper. <laughs> they have had their fill. <laughs> we go! Mmm, smells delicious! Miyagi <laughs> on time for supper. How did you find Kala when hunters fail? Miyagi not find Kala. Miyagi find Daniel. What happened to you, Mr. Miyagi? Greeting from tribal chief. You have met Noah? Yes. Honorable gentleman is what Daniel-san call rear jack. Did you find the shrine? It is found. <gasps> Dangerous, not yours. Kala does not need power. Kala can survive without it. Eat now, then rest. Tomorrow, busy day. We build new raft. And then we go home to return the shrine to my village. Yeah! Mr. Miyagi, how did you know Kala had the shrine? Village people believe boy has magic powers. Miyagi put two and two together. <laughs> Kara, rightful leader of tribe. People wait for his return. Chief, no right competition. Well, why doesn't he go back to his village and challenge the chief? Only Kara know that. Take boy, redeem Taki on lookout. Looks like we've got company. We can't let him find our camp. Okay, when he's right below us, we'll jump him. I hope this works. Yeah! 
Character water mates. Time for school. You can collect a new one each week when you buy a kid's meal. They're so much fun, you'll never want to get out of the water. Billy. The Burger King Kids Club. Just for fun, just for you. Yo, class, zip those lips fast. In today's lesson, I'm addressing the two laws of Cheetos brand paws. One, paws are made for way cool fun. Kate, please demonstrate. Totally awesome. Dig Nick and his hip trick. Now let's review law two. Only kid size claws can seize paws. The cheese that goes. Ah! Crunch. Battling evil with his mighty crossbow. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. We're under attack! The evil sheriff from Nottingham stole our weapon. Did I hear my name? It's Robin Hood and Will Scarlet. Dark Warrior, fire the bullet bomber. Look out! We still got another weapon, Sheriff. Fire the net launcher. Ah! The forest is safe again, for now. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Figures and accessories each sold separately. This is an eerie update. Town plagued by demon birds. Something's pecked out Egg McMahon's eyes. Mailman turned vigilante in Erie, Indiana. Uh, can't we talk about this? Yeah! Ooh. Ah! <laughs> What's with them? <laughs> Think we are the ghost. Well, boy. Oh, that wimp? He ran out on me. Kara, that feet rule hot. Bravery not come easy to everyone. Hey, hey Mr. Miyagi, wait up! Mr. Miyagi, you have to teach Kala balance like you taught me. Why? Why? Because I was afraid before you taught me, remember? Remember, big difference. Ow! Difference is, you ask Miyagi to teach. Boy must make own choice. What choice? Without the shrine, those guys will clobber him. Or even worse. There's always choice, Daniel-san. Boy stay, or boy go. No fight. You mean go with us? And leave his people? Hi. Hi. <laughs> But Mr. Miyagi, how's Kala gonna have balance if he doesn't fight for what's his? If you won't teach Kala, then I will! Listen, daniel son. To be teacher, not same as student. If you fail, Kala lose more than balance. Lose his life. I have to try, Mr. Miyagi! I know I can do it! All I need is time! Hmm. Got three days till raft finished. Great! Now all I gotta do is convince Kala. This is going to improve your hand-eye coordination. Doing good. Don't let anything distract you from your goal. Look, there's Tarzan! Oh. Hey, sorry. I thought you were ready for that one. Color was not, uh, focused. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Daniel? Are you kidding? Sure I do. He's getting there. 
Okay, you're on the lock. You're focused. You're the best. You can beat him. Yeah! Ah! yeah. Trying hard enough, Kala. Let's do it again. No. Kala, come back. Running away again, little coward! Oh. Focus, Kala! You're losing it! Oh. Oh. Nice going, Kala! You did it! <laughs> Kala learned fast! Tell Noah Kala come tonight to make the challenge! Kala! What are you saying? You have taught me, Daniel. Now I am ready! I will go and prepare. Taki, quick. Where's Mr. Miyagi? He went to find a special tree sap to make the raft watertight. He said we will leave tomorrow. Tomorrow is too late. Wait, Daniel. What do you mean? You can't go, Kala. You're not ready yet. I'm going in your place. Are you nuts? You will be killed! I've got to do it! <laughs> I must use the shrine. I cannot let Daniel risk his life for me. Now you remember the plan? As soon as I win, we'll switch places. Then all you gotta do is rule the people. I understand. I don't. This is crazy. So, Kala, you have finally returned. have learned something from this stranger's Kala! He's going to lose! I must use the power! The shrine! Kala, no! No! Let me go! What is this? See what your magic boy has done! He sends strangers to fight his battles! This is how I deal with the busters! Come on! Before they bake your potato! After them! <laughs> This is how you gained power over the beasts. Now, I will use it the way it was meant to be used, to call up the spirit of our tribe! Then I will hunt down the three who have caused me so much no. trouble.
to you. Sugar Bear Super Golden Crisp Cereal. Worth coming down the beanstalk mm. for. There's a taste of honey in every bite of Super Golden Crisp with a honey crunch. I just can't get enough of. Watch your back, Jack. Fee, fi, fo, fum. That looks good, and I want some. Sorry, big guy. Everybody's falling for that great honey crunch. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Can't, can't get, get enough, enough Super, Super Golden, Golden Crisp. Crisp. Mm, love that honey crunch. Cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers. Rubble, rubble. Rubble, rubble. Rubble, rubble. Thanks. How those again? Now, with every Happy Meal you buy at McDonald's, you can get one of eight totally cool California custom Hot Wheels cars. Awesome! Or a Barbie miniature. Barbie, you're the skating star. McDonald's Happy Meal, now with Hot Wheels or Barbie. Noah finishes with your friends, he will return to finish you. I must help Daniel. <sighs> Show yourself, you, you breath of the baboon. I challenge you! What did you call me, boy? Yeah. Ow! <gasps> they are still after us! What are we gonna do? Use time-honored technique. Watch Miyagi. Whoa! Nice technique, Mr. Miyagi. That ought to keep him busy for a while. Now, let's go back and rescue Kala. And the shrine! Miyagi feels danger here. We'll destroy you! I'm hearing things. That jaguar sounds like the chief. It is work of shrine. Daniel, do something! Hurry! Ow! Ankle. Great spirit, take beast away! The shrine! I challenge you, Noah, without the great power! You shall perish, boy! Them. No, time teacher and students stand or fall. Meet your fate! And you meet yours! Lucky for you, Miyagi feeling generous today. You have helped me to be strong, to overcome my fear. Hey, no big deal. Take care of the jungle, okay, Chief? <laughs> Goodbye, Daniel. Thank you. Come on, Daniel. We must continue the search for the shrine. I don't get it, Mr. Miyagi. 
Scala made out okay, but I still feel like I failed as a teacher. Succeeding, failing, is how you become the teacher, Daniel-san. That and keeping eye on the river. you rock. Crayola markers let you roll. Crayola, Crayola rocks. Crayola, Crayola rocks. Crayola, Crayola rocks. Crayola crayons and markers. You don't just draw with them, you rock and roll with them. Hands everywhere are acting as though they have a mind of their own. All fingers point to Mini Chips Ahoy cookies. Mini Chips Ahoy are so delicious, so crunchy, these kids' hands are out of control. This is Mini Chips Ahoy madness. Hands can't help helping handfuls. It's my hands. It's beyond my control. You're coming up. An evil force. It could affect the whole world. And only these superheroes can stop. Don't worry. Post on the way. Let's go on NBC Next. To be a teacher, you have to wear a lot of different hats. You're an educator first, but also a disciplinarian and a humanitarian. You need the energy of youth and the wisdom of age. You have to be a mediator and above all, a friend. The more you think about the roles our teachers must play, the more you know they deserve our applause. Presenting the one and only fruit bearing gummy bears. Made with the goodness of real fruit juice, they're called Amazing Fruit. Amazing Fruit! Amazing Fruit is so fruity, you can hardly bear it. Tropical flavors, too. about helping kids. Go Nose Cartoons. Yeah. Don't worry. Post stars on the way. Hey kids, how you doing? I'm Bo Jackson. Hi, I'm Wayne Gretzky. And we're, and we're the, the Pro, Pro Stars. Stars.
gang. Bad news, pro bros. Every guy I ever knew was in a gang is in trouble now. I was growing up, we had club. We saved our money, and on the weekends, we went fishing. We didn't get into trouble. Gangs are bad news. That's right. We have to put the bite on Garganus. Bo knows how, because Bo knows gang busting. Come on, it's game time. Pro Stars will return after these messages. presents the World Travel Adventure Week 2. You can join Crayola and the Burger King kids as they travel to far-off places. Discover new bases. You can collect a different travel kit each week when you buy a Kids Club meal. You never know who you'll run into. The Burger King Kids Club, just for fun, just for you. We now return to Pro Star. Until this gang drove him from the desert. That big guy is Gargantus, the leader. The froggy looking one is his driver. I'm the leader! I'm boss! Everyone's scared, except my dad. But my brother Keith. He thinks that belonging to the gang would be really cool. He's gone bonkers. <laughs> Gargantus is making everyone work for him, whether they like it or not. So far, they haven't caught me, but I'm scared, Pro Stars. Please come soon. <laughs> Bo knows bad guys, and that Garganus needs to be taught a lesson. Pro Star style. Okay, guys, but first, some appropriate gadgetry from Mom and Denise may be required to counteract the numerical superiority of Gargantus and his gang. Yeah, did you see the size of those guys? We could get stumped. Uh-uh, nobody's gonna stump my little Vansky. Uh, huh? Because I got super duper gadget stuff. Uh, Mom, how about some super-duper lunch? I haven't eaten yet. Hey, I used to have a boomerang when I was a kid. No, Bo, darling! Don't go! Huh? Uh, what Mom was trying to tell you is that the boomerang is a super-powerful remote-controlled video surveillance device. This is its monitor. Quick! Oh, Who's flying Pro Star One? Me. It's something new I've been working on. Oh, remote control. All right. This button must be forward. No! Uh, would you believe reverse? I want you should bring back Pro Star One in perfect condition, or. Of you are doing gym laundry for a month, I mean it. Don't worry, Mom. We'll take care of it. Oops. Oi, these boys give me such conniptions. Hey, look, there it is. 
Wallaby in the Australian Outback. I don't get it. I tried everything, but I just can't get this gadget to work. You mean Bo doesn't know? Never mind that. I still haven't had lunch. And all we've got is half a candy bar. Not that I want to complain. Yo! Oh, look out! What the hell? One would surmise that you are Sheila. Hot dogs, burgers, and fries, here I come! <laughs> Sorry, Wayne, but this place appears to be lacking in all of the above. Bummer. It, it's a regular ghost town. Gargantius took everybody. I hope my dad and Keith are okay. You know, even if Keith thinks he's bad, I know that deep down he's not. Hey, well, look, if you believe in him, then he can't be all bad. I'll tell you what, Sheila. Let's see if we can spot him. Yeah. Check it out. Boomerang One is on the air. There's the castle Gargantius is forcing everyone to build. Looks like they're using stone quarry directly from the mountain. They are, and Gargantus is forcing everyone to work as his prisoners. He says he's king of the town, and, and he's building a castle for himself. What? what? Hey, that's my dad. And a boy, Dad, you tell him. Hey, what's that thing in the sky? I don't know, but it's coming down fast. Yeah, real fast. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If anyone says who sent this thing to spy on us, I want to know about it. This here is my own private kingdom. You are my own private servants, and you're going to work night and day until my own private mansion is all finished. You got that? Ugh. Take them away. Oh, I love it when they strict. Gentlemen, I think it's time we have a heart-to-heart -heart with Mr. Gargantus. Good thinking. I'm on my way. Oh, wait, Bo. A certain amount of caution is advised. Do you hear that buzzing? Just as I thought. What's that? Ultra-fine laser beams. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. Hmm. Nearly invisible and very effective at keeping out unwanted guests. Even though Bo doesn't know what this cylinder is supposed to do. I do know it's now safe to proceed. Uh, guys, can we talk about lunch again? It's Sheila. Oh, no. Keith! They're coming, Gargantus! Those pro stars my sister said she'd call. <laughs> Blooming good work, Keith. We'll make a proper gang member out of you yet. Yet? What else do I have to do? Well, you see this here boulder and road tracker? Yeah. Well, start her up, laddie. We'll give that boulder a little shove. And chase those pro stars right off of my mountain. Okay, but, but once I'm in the gang, you'll let my father go, right? Oh, of course. You've got me word on it. Yeah, we'll even give him a little parade. <laughs> Then let's scare those pro stars away once and for all. Pro stars, get off this mountain! I can't believe Keith did that. You've got to believe me that my brother is a good person. I know he is. I believe you, Sheila. But I also believe that if we don't do something fast, we're gonna get squished. Pro stars will return after these messages. I should drink milk, because it'll help me grow up big and strong. Milk's got stuff that's good for my bones and stuff that's good
good for my muscles. And I guess that's okay, but I'm more interested in having fun. That's what makes milk so neat. You can drink a lot of it, and it tastes cool, so it can be a real pick-me-up. Milk, it does the body good. Slip them on. Lock them down. You're on flash tracks. You adjust them to fit your feet, so you get maximum performance. You feel like you're flying without leaving the ground. You're on cement. It feels like ice. Flash tracks. High performance inline skates that adjust instantly to your feet. There go you four. There go your night. Here come the great tasting wobbles. As big as your bite. Echo minis are here and now silverware's out. Echo minis the waffle. The size of your mouth. So now you can let go. Echo on two. Still have a cover at all. But for you, you can cut loose. Pour it on. Let go but look out. Two Echo minis. How big is your mouth? New Echo minis. Part of this complete breakfast. No special utensils required. NBA Inside Stuff, not your normal features, not your normal announcers, not your normal sports show. But then again, who wants normal? Inside Stuff, next Saturday on NBC. We now return to Pro Star. Oh, I hate tackling crises on an empty stomach. Personal preference is notwithstanding, it's game time. I just happen to have the game ball. That's one big bouncy game ball. That's the idea. Oh, oh great! Now we're gonna get crushed twice. Not necessarily. Oh, wait! Brace yourself. Time to rock out, pro bro. Here it comes. All right, gentlemen, nothing like a little pro star power. All right, Yanks. I tried to deal with this in a blooming gentlemanly fashion, but no more, Mr. Nice Bad Guy. Now I'm ticked! Vim, come on, bud. Just you and me. Uh, Bo, I don't want to break your flow, but it's not just you and him. There's 55 of them. You know, it is possible that a more diplomatic approach is called for. What do you say, Froggy? You said that? How oh, dare he! This means war! Gargantuan! Attack! Oh no, at this rate I might have to skip lunch. Well, gentlemen, it's game time! I'll cut down the visibility with some of Mom's egg puck specials. Take that! And this, and this, and that! And now it's time for Fight 23 to take off! I just got myself a pro star! Say that I think these guys are really obnoxious. Well, <laughs> I hope the accommodations are to your liking. Dad! Shyla! Dad, these are the pro stars. They've come to help. That's right. We're here to, uh, to rescue you. Uh, well, thanks, mates, but I'm afraid it's hopeless. 
Uh, to make matters worse, my son Keith is partially responsible. Uh. Don't worry, Dad. I know in my heart that Keith will be all right. Uh, I hope so, but right now he thinks Gargantus and his hoodlums are the best thing since <laughs> Marmite on bread. I don't know what Marmite is, but I'll take anything on bread right about now. <laughs> this little buggy has promised. Just saw off the end here, add a few spikes and a battering ram, and it'll be just fine. What about my dad and sis? You promised you'd let him go once I became a gargantuan. So I lied. It's a habit of mine, laddie. Sorry, maybe we should have mentioned it. But they're my family. Hey, families come and go. But an awesome auto is forever. <laughs> now, get cracking and fix this baby up for me. Now! And oh, yeah. Welcome to the gang. So, anybody got any ideas? Hey, it looks like Rebound does. Hey, talk about fortuitous. It's the remote control to Pro Star 1. All right, it's game time. Nice driving, Michael. Now bring her home. Okay, we're almost there. Hey, Michael, can you slow it down some? Actually, no, it's stuck. Mom isn't gonna like this. Just remember, you were driving, not me. I'll figure this thing out yet. Well, until you do, I'll fill in with Mom's latest hoop cups. Stop it! Oh, that's it! I'm telling! Gargantus! They're getting away! Dad! Sheila! Wait! Dad! Go get him! No one leaves my castle unless I kick him out! Don't worry, Gargantus! We'll chase him down! Pro Stars, move! I'm gonna get me a Pro Star! The day I can't outrun a clucker like this, it's the day I hang up my cleats! Stick around for more process after these messages. It'll be a ball! Woo! Presenting a day in the life of Ronald McDonald. We find Ronald in bed, his alarm clock about to go off. Well, Ronald, I'm off now. See you tomorrow. Next, it's time to take a bath. But he finds someone has already taken it. So it's on to his vast closet to decide what to wear. Ooh, what to wear, what to wear. Greeting his ever-present fans. Hi, fans. You're the greatest one. He pauses to put smiles on the Fry Kids' faces. After answering phone calls. Yes. What? I'm here. He hops a cab and goes to a recording session with an actual rock band. On a day that would exhaust any ordinary clown, Ronald joins the McNuggets for box seats at the opera. Then Hi, heads fam. home just in time to catch the evening news and tell the Fry Kids their favorite bedtime story. Once upon a time, Whoa! there was... Hey, hey the you can have the Come on. The Thank you, Ronald, for sharing your day. G.I. Joe! Super Chop G.I. Joe General, a huge mobile battle fortress with working lights and electronic battlefield sounds. The general has a giant cannon that really fires. Fire! Fire! Fire again! With lights and electronic battlefield sounds, the gigantic general will crush Cobra. G.I. Joe, Joe General comes with everything you see here. You put it together, batteries not included, other figures and vehicles sold separately. If you're looking for a career that'll give you some real rewards and a few headaches, how about becoming a teacher? Okay, you're going to get some students like me who clown around when we're supposed to be listening. But the first time you teach a six-year-old to read, or convince a 16-year-old not to drop out, you're going to know it's worth it. Listen, we don't always make your job easy, but we do need you. And now back to Prosa. It's a hit! Uh-oh! Hey, Mom! 
Michael? You got any more of those giant basketballs? Wayne, I like the way you think. Get up! It's game time. All right, gentlemen, and little lady, jump for it. Don't let him get away. It's bad for the resume. <laughs> See that truck over there? Let me guess. It's our ticket out of here? You got it. Now let's make this basketball bounce. <laughs> we did it! Let's get into the cab. Now, let's get out of here. Uh, the pro stars can run, but with Garcantus in pursuit, they can't hide! much to do with saving the town as we did. And it was your faith in me, sis, that helped me make the right choice to help the people I love. Heidi, hold on there! Whew, you sure got here fast. Hey, I move like plunder. I mean thunder. Besides, I was bringing you another high-protein chocolate shake. After all, <laughs> catching bad guys is hungry work. Hey, I don't see post on one. It's, uh... Not around here right now. No? Where's the remote control? Thanks. I just want to see that your boys have been taking care of it even though I'm not around to supervise. What up? Uh, don't worry, Mom. Uh, Wayne can explain everything. Me? Me? Well, already, I'm waiting. Uh, <laughs> you sure you want to hear this? Okay, well, um, you see, it, it all began when I was a, a little boy. Uh, yeah, yeah, a, a really teensy little boy, and... Hi, my name is Ryan, and I'm 11 years old, and how did you make it into the big leagues? They always told me if I kept my head on straight and stayed out of trouble, 
that I would probably go to college and from college to some sort of professional sport. I was uh, 16 years old. I was playing in a world championship in, uh, in Canada for, uh, for hockey and I was playing against 19 and 20 year olds. And at that time I did very well and that was a point in my career where I said that I could play as a professional. Pro Stars will return after these messages. Kid Cuisine presents BJ and the Chef in Mega Meal Posse. For the rescue! BJ and the Chef! Mighty small meal, purple. Get along, doggy! Russell up, my. No! Kid Cuisine Mega Meal. Yummy, yummy, yummy. More chicken nuggets, bigger burgers, a pair of pizzas. Dessert! And my fun pack! Lots of food! And no! Mega Meal! Kid Cuisine is just for kids. Good food. That's good fun. Now more of it. When you put on the radio-controlled Turbo Fist, get ready for the ultimate driving experience. Because with Turbo Fist, your hand makes the car go left, go right, through the curves, and into turbo speed. You're in total control only with Turbo Fist. Turbo Fist puts the power and control in your hands. Turbofist radio control vehicle comes with glove and car. Batteries not included. New from Tonka. Hey kids, if you had a wish, what would you wish for? Join Macaulay Culkin for fun-filled adventures where wishes come true on an all-new Wish Kid. Coming up next, right here on NBC. kid has things they're good in, like math or art or science, and things that we are not so good in, like maybe history. But you can't just stick to what comes easy because you won't make it in school or in life. And the real world is getting more and more complex and more competitive every day. So keep on working on the tricky stuff, the tough stuff, the technical stuff, and you'll get it. You'll get ahead. Friend, often as I've been to the Holy Land, it always moves me. 2,000 years ago, Jesus walked here in this beautiful, timeless land. You can still feel his living presence. If you've never been to Israel, the home of the Bible, go this year. And to help, I'll send you this Holy Land travel kit that's full of useful travel advice, and it's free. Just call 1-800-456-BIBLE. Call now, 1-800-456-BIBLE. on a star and it flew in my window cup blue. Now I can have any wish I want, but only once a week. Yo, baby! what I like. What's the big fuss about Goyle? Me, I can take him or leave him, but not that wimpy Nick. He's gotta go fall in love with the wrong Goyle. Boy, is he gonna be dead me. We'll be back faster than Frankie can add two plus two. Kid Cuisine presents BJ and the Chef in Mega Meal Posse for the rescue. Yeah. Mighty small meal, purple. Get along, doggy. Russell up, my. No. Kid Cuisine Mega Meals. Yummy, yummy, yummy. More chicken nuggets, bigger burgers, a pair of pizzas. Desserts. And my fun pack. Lots of food. And no. Mega Meals. Kid Cuisine is just for kids. Uh, huh? Good food. That's good fun. Now more of it. Unbelievable. We're back already. Wow, 
I never knew it was so much fun to be a cartoon. I can be anything I wish. The only ones who know about this are my dog, Slobber, my best friend, Daryl, my little sister, Katie. Don't worry. Nick will be back to get us in more trouble. Pretty Crimpin' Curl has hair that's easy to style and stays like magic. Pretty Crimpin' Curl's got a new kind of hair. It's easy to curl or braid everywhere. Pretty Crimpin' Curl, do it up and then. It'll stay like magic till you do it again. You don't need heat for these hot looks. Hey, Lizzie, it looks just like you. Pretty Crimpin' Curl, let's get styling, girl. Xavier Roberts Pretty Crimpin' Curl from the Cabbage Patch Kids each purchased separately with all these styling tools. Kid's sister. Eat sold separately from Play School. They trashed the principal's car while he was away. We are in big trouble. Now he's back. Surprise? Oh. Will they fix it before he finds out? Stay by the bell this morning. Just when I thought it was safe, we're back. All right, class, settle down. We're ready to begin the tryouts for next week's play. I wonder what part would be right for me, Nick. I don't know about you, Daryl, but I want to be the star. That means playing the role of Peter Pan. Don't even think about it, McCleary. I'm getting the lead in this play. You try out for Peter Pan, and I'll make peanut butter out of you. <laughs> and what part would you like to try out for, Nick? Uh, I'll play the peanut butter. What? Oh, Mrs. Kimberly? Yes, Sonny? Is Wendy the girl that Peter Pan falls in love with? Yes, she is. Oh, my gosh. Then that's the part I want to play. That's the cutest girl I've ever seen in my life. I heard she just moved into the neighborhood and that she hangs out with Frankie Duckweiler. I don't care. I've got to meet her. Huh? Huh? <laughs> What's this? Rose the Red fighting the Blue. I'm Nick McClary, and I'm mad about you! You're gonna be trash, McClary, and I'm gonna be the trash compactor! Whoa! I got you now! Yeah! Ah! Huh? Uh-oh, it's Frankie Hook! You're not getting away from me, shrimp! Ah! No boys! Really? Come back here, my Clary! Bravo! <laughs> <laughs> That was an excellent audition. You've got the parts. Huh? <laughs> Nick will be Peter Pan, and Frankie will be Captain Hook. But, Mrs. Kimberly, I don't want to be. Now, who would like to try out for Tinkerbell? The opening night of this play is going to be the closing night of your life, McClary. Come on, Sonny, let's get out of here. Sign of Frankie anywhere in the neighborhood. I think I'm in love. No, not with you, slobber. What am I gonna do, Daryl? If I play Peter Pan, I get to be with the cutest girl in the whole world. Until I'm chopped into dog meat by Frankie Duttweiler. There's someone coming down the street. Is it Frankie? No, it's just some girl. Oh, shh. Girl? 
<gasps> it's her, and she's looking right at us. <sighs> I'll bet she likes me. Either that, or she'd like to see you dead. Huh? You can't hide, McCleary! Oh, no. Frankie's coming into your backyard. He's climbing up! Quick, wish Frankie on the dark side of Mars! I'll do better than that. I wish I was Hulk Hogan, so I can impress on you while I'm pulverizing Frankie. I wish I was Hulk Hogan. I wish I was Hulk Hogan. I wish you loved me. You forgot about Frankie! When I'm ah! through with you, McClary, you'll never forget me! Hey! Let's play toss the geek, McClary! Ah! Don't you hurt a hair on his head, Francis Duttweiler? Why not? Because I love him. You do? Who cares? <gasps> I'm gonna terminate him! Yikes! Huh? Time to activate the treehouse security system. Nothing really. Maybe. But when Frankie comes back, it's gonna be something. Nick? Everything okay? Just fine, Dad. Who is your new friend, Nick? Oh, this is Sunny. She's co-starring with me in the school play. Ooh. Hey, that's great, Nick. I'll shoot some pictures of you and do a local interest story in the paper. Me? In the newspaper? Wow! That'll really impress her. Great, Nick. Why don't you just take out an ad asking Frankie to annihilate you? Don't you worry about that big buffoon Frankie. You're much more of a man than he'll ever be. Who, me? Worry about Frankie? Ha! Huh. He doesn't scare me at all. Oh, brother. Humph. Oh, Nicky, why don't you come over to my house for dinner tonight? You can't, Nick. We've got to study for our geography quiz. Get real, Daryl. The only geography I care about is your address. See you at five. Bye. Bye. Huh? Earth to Nick. Oh, brother. How do I look, Daryl? Fine, as long as you don't mind getting blood stains on your new suit. Will you stop worrying? Frankie isn't even going to know. It's almost five. You're going to be late. No way. Sonny lives just down the block. I'll walk you there. Then you're on your own. So, where does the love of your life live? 86 Elm. There's something awfully familiar about that address. You didn't say 86 Elm Street, did you? Yeah, why? Yikes! Ow! There must be some mistake. There's no mistake. It's, it's Frankie Duttweiler's house! house. Ah! Well, I'm out of here. What are you doing here, Dipstick? Why, he's what? coming over to have dinner with me. What? What? I mean, well, what are you doing at Frankie's house, Sonny? We just moved into town from Ohio. My folks and I are staying here until we can find our own house. You're staying with Frankie? Why not? She's my cousin, you dweebazoid. <gasps> C cousin Oh, no! I'm a rat food! Hey, don't be blue. Wish you could show the call call and we'll be back after these messages.
Gel comes with her own pink fashion foam. Fashion foam soap and other colors each sold separately. Presenting a day in the life of Ronald McDonald. We find Ronald about to take a bath, but someone's already taken it. So it's off to his closet to decide what to wear. What to wear, what to wear. He greets his fans. Hi, fans. the greatest. Hops a cab to a recording session with an actual rock band. Then joins the McNuggets for box seats at the opera. Then it's home to catch the evening news and tell the Fry Kids a story. Once upon a time, Whoa! there was... Hey, had to go to the bathroom. Thank Come you, on. Ronald, for sharing your day. Marshall must win the heart of his first love. Oh. And he's going to the king of romance for advice. Or something tender and nice, like a Cadillac. Erie, Indiana, Sunday. Just want to get your attention, because Wish Kids are Macaulay Culkin's back. What are you waiting for, you handsome hunk? Dinner's almost ready. Our folks aren't home yet, so I made it for you myself. Not so fast, McClary. You set one foot on my property, and you're going to be coming to dinner as the main course. Uh, can we have dinner a little later? Like when I'm about three feet taller? What's the matter? Don't you love me? Uh, sure I do. You go inside. I'll be with you in a few minutes. Uh, you win, Frankie. I'm going home. Ha! What a chicken. I'll have to sneak in the back way. Get it, boy! <laughs> Go inside and get something else to chew on, Duke. Boy, the things people do for love. <laughs> Would it make a difference if I told you I was invited? <laughs> <laughs> If McClary shows his face around here again, we'll waste him. Perfect. Wait a What's that? It's McClary! New Capoo! <laughs> yeah! Don't let him get away! Oh, I hate to do this. No, I don't. We got him now! <laughs> the warranty on your life just expired, McClary! Yeah! Uh-oh! I lost out of the copter! There it is! Nick? Yeah! Come back here, you two-faced little twerp! My sister will kill me if she finds out I gave this to you. Don't worry, Daryl. I'll have it back before she knows it's gone. <coughs> That's the signal. Quick, pull up the elevator. Good boy, Slobber. It's a lucky thing Mom has a wig. Frankie will never wow. suspect a thing. Well, how do I look? Not too bad for a dog. <coughs> Frankie, have you seen Nick? He should have been back by now. Don't worry, Sonny. If I see him, you'll know. You'll hear his scream. Oh, hold it. Who are you? Nick. <clears throat> I mean, Nicky. I'm here to play with Sonny because Nick McClary can't come. All right, you can go through. Mm. Mm. I've arranged
arranged everything for next Sunday. The party will be in the backyard. What party? Why, our wedding party, of course. <laughs> wedding? But we're only nine. I'm getting hungry. Let's go get dinner, Luke. I'll wear a beautiful wedding dress and Frankie can be the best man. Sunny, have you seen the hamburger meat? Uh-oh. Oops, my fork. I used it all. Great, I'll help you eat them. Say, where's Nikki? Uh, under the table looking for a fork. Did you find it? Almost. Maybe Nuke can help you find it. Go fetch the fork, boy. Oh, no! I'm Dog Biscuit! We'll be back. Stay tuned or I'll make one food out of you. You have a newborn baby. She's cold. Don't shiver. Newborn baby shivers. My love will keep you warm. With a kiss and a hug, I'll keep you warm and snug. My newborn baby shivers. Newborn baby shivers. When she's undressed, she shivers like a real newborn. When you hug her, she stops. Newborn baby shivers. My love will keep you warm. Newborn baby shivers. Comes with dressing gown and diaper. Batteries not included. From Tyco. Hey, I got second. No, man. You play right. Deep right. Can't be your best. You can't be your best if you don't eat a good breakfast. With foods like fruit and cereal, juice, toast, and milk. I could have played second. Can't be your best. You can't be your best. If you don't eat a good breakfast. Wish Kid is back. That McClary Kid is dead meat now. Yeah! I'm gonna skin you, you stupid mutt! Found it! Are you ready for dessert? Sure, if we can have it on the back porch. You sit down, Nick, sweetie. I'll be right back. Make it fast! I gotta get home early! Before Frankie sends me home in a trash bag. All right, dumb dog. You're going outside. Bad doggy. Bad! What are you doing here? Waiting for dessert. Mind if I wait with you? Uh... Hey, anyone ever tell you you're kinda cute? Ju just my mother. How about going to a movie with me? I hear that Cement Mix the Mutant from Montana is playing at the Bijou. Oh, I couldn't. I'm Nick McClary's girl. McClary's girl? But he said he liked my cousin. I'm gonna pulverize that two-timing little rat. Wait! Nick dumped me yesterday. I want to be caught dead with him. Really? Then how about that movie? I hope you like angel food cake, my little angel. Uh, I'd love to go to the movies with you. But you've got to put on some nicer clothes. Sheesh. I'm beginning to think this love stuff isn't worth the trouble. What's that? What? Oh, well, this is just part of my costume for the play. Do you like it? Terrific. <laughs> Mmm. Don't eat so fast. You'll get a bellyache. He's gonna be aching all over when I get through with him. You touch one hair on his adorable little head, and I'll see that you're grounded for a month, Francis. That's right, Francis. And when Sonny and I get married, you'll never be able to touch me again. Francis, Francis, Francis. Well, what are you doing here? Uh, having dinner with my sweetheart, aren't I? You gotta be joking. I wouldn't let my dog have dinner with you. You mean I can do what I want to him? Go right ahead. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nick? Oh, no. I knew you were going to ruin my sister's dress. The dress is fine. I'm the one who almost got ruined. I take it dinner didn't go too well? It was great until the wish wore off. Then Frankie served me for dessert. What about Sunny? She feels the same about me as she did before. And after getting a taste of true love, I'm not sure that's such a bad thing. I suppose Frankie threatened to cream you if you played Peter Pan, too. I wish he wants me to play Peter Pan so he can rewrite the ending. Have Captain Hook send me straight to Never Recover Land. Isn't this exciting, Katie? Your big brother's going to be Peter Pan. Oh, God. And Daddy's going to get a photo for tomorrow morning's paper. You're ready to fly, Nick. Uh, hi, Sunny. I want to tell you, uh, I think it's good our relationship's over. Oh, but you're so wonderful. Uh, you mean you really do like me? Get real, McClary. I'm an actor. Any emotion I may show you this evening is purely professional and not to be mistaken for personal feelings. Break a leg, McClary. Because if you don't, I'll do it for you. You sure you want to go through with this, Nick? You know what they say, Daryl. The show must go on. And hopefully so in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, Jefferson Elementary is proud to present Peter Pan. Hello, my name is Tinkerbell. This is a story about children, and everyone knows all children grow up. I don't think so. You are to see your children walk the plank with you. Sounds like the crocodile ticking. Only I happen to know that it's really Peter Pan. That's not the way the play goes. You're supposed to run and hide, Frankie. No way, chump. You're about to see my new and improved ending to this play, in which I come out the hero and Peter Pan gets eaten by the crocodile. <laughs> Ahoy, Captain Hook! I, Peter Pan, am here to free Wendy and her brothers. And I'm here to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. I'm youth. I'm joy. I'm a little bird that's broken out of the egg. And you must be... Francis! Nobody calls me Francis! <laughs> Load the cannonballs, Brother John! 10-4, Peter Pan. Come on down, Pimpweek. Hey! Yeah, that. Fire away! <laughs> nice try, McClary. But I got you right where I want you. I rigged it up so that when I pull this rope, you go overboard. Say goodbye, fool. Goodbye, fool. I'm glad this play is over. Love can be dangerous. Yeah. From now on, you ought to wish for only safe things, like dinosaurs and aliens. I guess if you want someone to love you, they should do it because they want to, not because you wish it. That was brave what you did to Frankie, Nick. Who, me? Brave? I mean, yeah, I guess I was. I'm sorry for the nasty things I said. There's something I've been wanting to give you. Clary! Why couldn't you have a nice cousin? Like Godzilla! Don't worry, Nick will be back to get us in more trouble. <laughs> and 
tomato sauce that's a shark hunt in every bowl. Catch all three shark shapes, you win! Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. Shark! If I can make a baby doll, I'd make her great. Like a real baby. I'd call her Baby Face. Baby Face, she's the one, oh yeah. I'd make her so much fun, my baby face. She's the prize. She's sorry. She's shy. Her arms, legs, and head twist and turn in so many ways. I change her diaper, dress her up. Then I'd give each one a magic card with a secret message. Little girl, surprise, they're here. There are ten different baby face babies with their own special look, each sold separately with a magic card from Galoob. NBC is the place to 